guys, it's the Joy Show with Baby Logan. Excuse me? What? Why do you say Joy Show? This is a Joy Show. Okay. okay guys, so today I'm going to talk to you guys about what I have in Baby Logan's diaper bag. So this morning I decided since I keep on saying that it's time for him to come, it's time for me to get ready. So. I have packed his bag. It's not all the way packed yet. Actually, it's not even like halfway packed. But because only because I haven't gotten like all of his outfits that he's going to um wear, and I haven't really decided what I'm going to carry. Because okay, we'll get into that anyway. So this is Baby Logan's diaper bag. I got one that is like suitable for Corey too. And then I felt like oh, it'd be good for my back because I can just throw this down on. So, okay, I don't have anything in that part yet. So far, I have, let's start from the, the front. I don't even remember what I have in here. Oh, okay. So, so far, I have the Baby Ganics alcohol-free foaming sanitizer. And then I have hand lotion, but that's just for me because I'm gonna need lotion. <laughs> but this is for everybody. So, don't try to pick up my baby, touch my baby before you got your hand sanitizer on your hand. Hands. <clears throat> and my mama just walked past and made a face at me. <laughs> but anyway. Then he has his little brush and little comb. Even though I heard that the hospital have really good brushes too. And they told me to make sure I take that brush home. <laughs> and this is the safety first kit. Um, we actually have two of them. Actually, we got a bunch of safety first kits. But we have like two full kits. And then we have like little small safety first stuff. But anyway, so this is the small kit. The bigger one will stay in the house. So in this one, we have... Um, nail clippers, um, a nail files, alcohol wipes. Um, this is to go on a, a thermometer, a thermometer like cover shield thing. And then they have, well they have their own nose, I swear to say, but these ones scare me because I always hear like somebody gonna like push it too far and so this one I'm taking out right now because I don't want anybody using this on my baby but we have this one my mom got this one for me because I told her I wanted this one um because she used this on my um, on my little brother when he was a baby and these ones are better because you can't stick it but so far and it's rounded and it works even better in my opinion and you don't have to worry about like you're not a baby like you trying to get in their nose like, I don't want nobody to stab my baby in the back of his uh, nose it has the medicine thing it's also another medicine one I guess for a little tiny baby so he can think it's a bottle but and then a little uh the toothbrush that go on your finger also have to boil all of this stuff but he's not gonna be using it yet so and then the thermometer uh, i'm also not going to use this thermometer i'm going to buy the thermometer that um gets the temperature from just like from on the forehead and then this is a big boy toothbrush so we definitely won't be using that anytime soon but <clears throat> this is in here i'll leave it in here so i think um let me see. Oh yeah, y'all. Corey is behind the camera. Yes, I am. <coughs> hey, daddy. Hey, baby. So. You're beautiful. <laughs> oh, other things that are in his bag already is pacifiers. These are my favorite baby pacifiers because I don't know. I like to see when they suck in. You can see when you look in the inside. You can see a little mouth like. And they look so cute. And then we have um, the pacifier holders. My god mom bought these for him. But anyway, actually I have a lot of these. 
I just got some more. But yeah, so he'll never lose his pacifier. Even though I don't think I'm gonna keep him on him that long. I probably take it at like um like four or five months. When I see a tooth growing in, because I don't want his teeth to be like growing in crazy. Oh look, babe. What is it? I could put stuff in here, a little compartment thing. I don't know what I'm gonna put in there. But yeah, this bag is just awesome. I haven't uh, finished putting stuff in here, but it also has the changing thing. And it has like insulated um, pocket right here. And it also has insulated pockets on the inside. But he won't be using bottles for at least the first uh, four weeks because I'm gonna breastfeed, so he won't have bottles at first. And I won't start pumping until like then. Okay, you guys. So this is the fun part. Okay. Whew. What's on my stomach? Okay, so this this is uh this is the stuff that's going in his bag so far. Um his swaddle blanket. This blanket is like made for swaddling, like a easy swaddle, so you don't have to figure out like how to swaddle your baby. And then the burp cloth. I don't know if this is a burp cloth. I don't know, but I know this is what people gonna have on their clothes when I hand them my baby because I don't want all their like products of what they got on their body to get onto him. Cause like I told y'all, I think I told y'all before in another video, <clears throat> I think he's gonna have sensitive skin because um, Corey has sensitive skin and um, I have sensitive skin. So, poor baby, he probably gonna have sensitive skin too. And then Corey said, these are some of his little outfits. I had never get pants for these ones, but Corey talking about some, <laughs> these gonna be too small for him, which that's why I'm taking him to the hospital so I can be sure that um, he's able to wear, get at least one wear out of them. Cause even if he's a big baby, he can at least wear the newborn for like one day. So I don't know which ones I'm gonna carry. And it's a little hat. I don't know if that hat goes with that, but he need little hats on. And then I put this out, but I don't think I'm gonna carry this to the hospital anymore. And it was like, I don't know if I'm gonna carry this to the hospital anymore, but it's like little booties with this. So, I don't know, maybe if I can find some pants or something to go with one of his um his shirts. Because I'm actually, um right now, I'm still washing clothes. I just bought him some um onesies, the long sleeve ones that the mittens come over the hands. So um, I'm gonna I'm definitely taking those to the hospital. So I probably just get him some little um, what's it called? I probably just get him some little like joggers to go with those. Or maybe I could just put these with one of the white ones and then find some more instead of carrying the black shirt. And then I could just put this on with his little white one. He having a little basic outfit with his little out my ear. I think that's what I'll do. So, so his onesies are washing, his white socks are washing, and then I'll be finished packing his bag. Um, I'm not gonna pack any diapers or wipes because they told me that the hospital provides you with like hosp uh, diapers and wipes when you're there, so I'm not gonna pack any of it. I'm, I don't wanna overpack. Um, what else? What else do I have love to pack? I don't think I have anything else. Oh, I need to put um some lotion in his bag. But I don't know what I did with his lotions and stuff. But anyway, um, I think I'm gonna take some uh baby wash. I don't know if they use soap on the first bath, but I'll still take it just in case because I don't know what type of um baby wash they use, and I want to use what you know I asked for. So. So yeah, so that is the end of this video. And hopefully, oh, and me and Corey are packing our uh, bags too. I'm in the process of packing mine. I told Corey this morning, he needs to start packing his so we can be ready to go when these contractions hit. <laughs> right, babe? 
You did tell me this? Yes, you did. Exactly. But did I get and we all just washed clothes, so everybody can just pack their stuff away now, so it's ready to go. But, um, say so that's the end of this video, and hopefully the next time you guys see us <laughs> with this bag, we'll also be on our getting ready to meet baby Logan. That's just, and I'm hoping it's in the next few days, so. <sighs> Prayers, thank you, Lord. And um, yeah, so make sure you guys tune in for the next videos. See you next time.